looks like you lost another one. Is happening at the moment. This is that is crazy. Things like this happen at the moment, and how is that even possible? I mean, what? OMG, I think this is the first time that I experienced sun in this room. I don't know if I have a tit, but it's so beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. Good morning. I don't know if you can see, but there is actually a shadow behind me because. There is sun in my room. I can't believe that I'm ever going to witness sun in my room. Like that much sun, like direct sunlight. It is Sunday. I'm home for a week now after Christmas. Yesterday night, unfortunately I didn't take you with me. I went skating with my roommate at like 10 p.m. And it was really fun. And there was nobody or like very little people. That was great. <laughs> And I'm currently editing my video for today because I didn't do that yesterday. And I decided to start off this day right with the right energy. I mean, I woke up super late. It's like 1 p.m. already. And I think I woke up at 10 or something and I just chilled in bed and I wasn't feeling the day. And then I saw the sun and I opened up my blinds and it was just so beautiful. I usually never have to all the way up to open because I feel like my neighbors can watch and I feel kind of creeped out by the idea of it. We have like this stained glass up to here and then like that part, but there are people that could technically, could technically watch me. And for some reason this creeps me out. I don't know why my plants make me so happy at the moment. Like for example, my ivy is growing all over the place and I definitely have to propagate it. And I definitely want to propagate it because it's like growing so much. And then I have my my golden photos, I think that's what it's called. It isn't growing as much anymore as it, or like as quick as it used to be because this grew in a month and there's not really something new coming, which I think is kind of sad, but it's starting to grow in the other way. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, good. Everything that's starting to grow into like the different direction I'm going to cut and propagate. Anyway, I'm going to, to edit my video. I mean, it's already edited. I filmed it on my new camera and I just don't know <laughs> what kind of music I use or like what's the track called that I use for my outro these days because I just always copy and pasted it and I um, didn't care about it. So I had to figure it out. And I'm currently editing in DaVinci Resolve because I don't know if you know, I bought a Blackmagic Pocket. I'm using black magic and it's kind of annoying me because I don't like the project like I don't like some parts of the program maybe it's intuition or maybe it's because I just have to get used to it but so far I don't like it but some parts are definitely better than Premiere it kind of bothers me especially that my keyboard shortcuts are not working <laughs> fun fact I made a bread last night at like 1 a.m. in the morning and first of all I forgot or like I didn't forgot but I think I didn't put enough flour in it then I cut into the top so that it's kind of cracking open that didn't work out because look at it it just has a slit in the middle also I see sun outside of my balcony which is yeah rare occasion I mean we will never be as lucky as these people because it's just shadowy. Oh, right here are my hyacinths. This is one of the avocado. Just like the first avocado that actually split open. And I don't know how long it will. It will not take any longer. Until we have some leaves. Which is really great. Now just put it back in. And then we have this. Which is also hopefully rooting soon. And we have my... My little paprika thingies. Let's see. As long as it tastes good, I think we should be fine. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's perfectly well done. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. It's so good. I'm actually very scared. I just hope that 
the Steelers will win this game. <laughs> Fingers crossed. The game is starting in 10 minutes. It's currently 2 a.m. here in Germany. I'm hungry. <laughs> I do have uni tomorrow, but I'm prepared. I'm actually wearing my, my Steelers hoodie and I'm also wearing my Steelers shirt. <laughs> and the reason why I'm wearing this underneath is because I have number 84, which is the old number of Antonio Brown who is not playing for the Steelers anymore. He's not playing football anyways, because he did some stuff. I didn't want to get a new jersey because this jersey, I think I got this in San Francisco. No, 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 no. It was Salt Lake City, I think, and I did get it there from the NFL store. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm actually going to go and grab a grapefruit now because I'm hungry. And then I'll show my bad and I'll watch the Steelers game. I'm just praying that they're going to win because, you know, it's the first playoff game. Um, how is it possible that we are four seconds into the game and the Cleveland Browns already have a touchdown? Because the Steelers actually... What the fuck is happening? Four seconds! Okay, it's not four seconds, it's 14 seconds, oh my god. What? I'm about to cry, why am I crying? I look really sad. I was so excited. It is 6.39 in the morning and I'm texting with my dad. <laughs> Hello, it is currently 1.23. Um, I have class at 2 and I don't want to. I'm I, I think I want to sleep at 7.30. Um, um the start to make. Ja, weil da wird es ja. ja prinzipiell schon ein bisschen, bisschen entspannter. Dann ist es auch ein bisschen wärmer. Ja, dann ist bei mir wird es ein bisschen eng von der Zeit her, aber... Ihr Fäsch eh nichts mehr. Hello, hi, today is Tuesday. Yeah. And today is not a great day either. I'm eating a kiwi. Nothing can stop me from feeling that pain. I mean, they're golden kiwis, so I hope that they're not too, too much for me. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that. Anyway, I don't know if you have seen the other video where I was talking about my future and what is happening this year. But back when I filmed this video, I was so sure that I'm gonna be able to find a way to get a visa for the United States so that I can go to the United States in April to film my final project for university. I thought that I can get one of those NIEs, which is um, the national interest exception, something like this. Turns out I'm not because my aunt and my uncle are not close enough of relatives to me, so I'm not qualified for the NIE under this circumstance. And now I'm just trying to figure out what kind of visa I can still get. I don't know what to qualify for because I don't think that I can just get hired as an intern for my aunt's business. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not going there because I want to work or anything. I just want to film my bachelor's project, which I have to film. It seems like I don't have any chance of ever getting there. We'll see. Yeah, I feel it. Oh. Ah. Uh.